in the newsletter every week. Wow. No, it's in the newsletter every week, including one more time a big round of applause for our general manager, Gracie Lou. Oh, yeah. Every Friday, we'll tell you all the exciting things that happen in the city of Los Angeles through the lens of neighborhood councils. Right. And today, I mean, she's going to chalk, her weekend is full of great neighborhood council events. Am I right? Yes. We've got two today, don't we? We've got Studio City and Studio City, no, Studio City's tomorrow. Studio City's today. 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 And then um, tomorrow's Del Rey. Del Rey. So, um, with 95 neighborhood councils around the city of LA, Gracie's kept very busy um, traveling, 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 and getting frequent flyer miles right here in the city of LA. <laughs> so, we're going to do something now called 7x7, seven seven. and you should have a little menu. Your little menus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In front of you, you have a little menu, and that's where we're going to cover the 7x7. Seven, seven. seven people, seven topics, seven minutes, seven slides, no questions. So if you, hold, if you can hold your questions until the end. We're going to punch through seven topics. If they interest you, great. We'd like to know so we can follow up with you and really work on you with regard to those tools and those strategies. If they don't interest you, just wait for about six and a half minutes and another one will be coming your direction. As far as strategies, outreach strategies, as we kind of reboot our outreach and communication strategies with the election season coming. The single greatest opportunity to tell your neighborhood council story is election season. It's when you get to tell the community what you do. It's when you get to tell candidates why they should participate. It's when you get to tell volunteers what a great opportunity it is to work with you. It's when you get to tell voters about their voice and how they can step up and participate. And so you get to tell your neighborhood council story. You also get to activate people to tell your neighborhood council story for you. And so we're going to do seven strategies. So without any further ado, come join us. And um, I'd like to introduce Pipe Lalua. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so my name is Vivian Ailua. I am the Civic uh, Engagement Specialist at, um, with the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment. And um, I will be first in talking to you about uh, the door-to-door -door strategy. So my, my first council meeting I started um, way back in the 90s when I was in the third grade. And um, I attended the, my council meetings within my neighborhood. Um, I started off with um, the motivator that inspired us, um, the elementary school that I was in. She inspired us to go to our neighborhood councils and speak to those who were in authority of our, um, of our council. So we went and I started again in the third grade and then I started attending it throughout, the high, throughout my high school, my junior highs, and as well as in college when I moved away. But Within that time frame, from third to high school, I seen the same 40 to 60 people that attended the, name, the, the council meetings every year. We became best friends, and my classmates and I, we also gained a lot of friends. And this is how one of our council meetings looked to the same 40 people. Um, and what we wanted to do, what we wanted to do as students within the, the neighborhood, we wanted to change this. And how did we want to change this? So we went out, we, we got our parents, we got our parents and we, I got the, the 20 group of students that were with us. We all went, so now we're, now we're in junior high. We're in junior high, we took our parents, we went out. Uh, we went to the shopping centers, we went to the, the local shopping centers, we went to, uh, and we also went door to door. But the good thing about it is that these people seen that we were a part of their neighborhood. They seen that we were wearing our school uniforms, they seen us, you know, walking down the street, etc. And also, so by the end of my high school year, our, the, uh, the meeting halls were filled. So again, we started off with 40, and we ended up, we increased our, um, our, our uh, neighborhood council meetings, and we also had to move it from the, the room to the library hall. So that was pretty interesting. Um, so also, not only did we go to the, the shopping centers and also to door-to-door, -to -door, but we went to the park booths as well as to the PTA meetings to give out brochures, um, etc., and even, you know, just talk to them. Um, so again, by the end of the physical year, we went door-to-door. -door. Again, we can also engage our, not only our elders, but our young adults. Again, we were, we were students then. We were students then, and now, we're, now I'm a young adult, and, you know, 
for, for us to get our voters, for us to increase our voters, and for us to get our uh, neighborhoods engaged within our election season is to get, you know, to use to use our volunteers out there, to use our students, to use our young adults, and to not only to use them, but for to, to for them to gain knowledge about where they live and, um, you know, and about the environment that they live in. So what I'd like to do is that, um, but when I spoke to Stephen Box, when I spoke to speaking to Stephen Box about the department, his first thing was about change. He wanted to bring change. And going into the election uh, period, we want to bring change. And what my job is to do is to assist you. How can I be of service to you? Whether it's, again, making your, your brochures, giving you templates, business cards, and um, on how to go door to door, and as Tom spoke with you guys on how you can learn from within five minutes about how the person next to you, you know, about that strategy as well. So how can I be of service to you, um, each neighborhood council, into making your business card, your templates, or et cetera, and how we can gain more voters and of, of all ages, not, not, just, not just us here, not just um, the ages here, but young voters from 5 to 25 to 35, et cetera. And um, also, not only that, we, we want to not only gain them for the election period, we want to gain them for, for forever, right? So we want new new voices, we want fresh voices, and you know we want more ideas in how we can make how we can make our neighborhood um, a better neighborhood. So so then again, we can go by going to our shopping centers. We can just be giving out brochures and you know um, or, or postcards. I can help you make postcards, as well as helping helping our neighborhoods give a great story. As we as we see within our um, LA our Empower LA Awards, I can help you make a great story about how your neighborhood help change, uh, you know, the, the, the attendance within your neighborhood council or how you're making your, your neighborhood residents be a part of something bigger than, than their voice. Um, so, and again, we, we, like Stephen Box says, uh, we just want to help you guys tell a great story. As with templates, brochures, um, uh, bro you know, et cetera, business cards. So if you guys can look in your, your menu and just, just if, if, if this helps for you, just tell me how I can help you into making brochures, or just let me know. Just let me know by the end of this um, this, this session. You, um, I'll, I'll be collecting this, so I can help see what neighborhood council you're from, and I'll contact you on how I can make your business cards, your brochures, and we can talk from there on. Excellent. Thank you very much. So the uh, takeaway here is, We'd like to help you with the tools, and if this is a strategy that you'd like to employ, some neighbor councils, uh, the face-to-face, -face, the door-to-door is a little tougher. For example, out in the horse country, it's a little tough to go to. Well, I guess you can ride your horse door-to-door, -door, but uh, it's a little spread out. Some neighborhoods are very densely populated, and it's the most appropriate tool. If it's a tool for you, or a strategy for you, we'd like, I'm sorry, strategy, we'd like to help you with the tools, so we don't have 34 neighbor councils reinventing. What that means is, if you're going door-to-door, uh, Tom mentioned credentialing. The simplest is, hey, here's who I am. I'm with the neighborhood council. Use that real estate. Some of the Tahunga had great ones. It had the meetings on the back side of the business cards. So there was no wasted real estate on the print materials. And then should that be followed up with a brochure that talks about your neighborhood council, the upcoming elections? Is there a way for us to empower other people to go door to door? So we can, we'll dig deep into the strategy so it works for your council and for your region as the upcoming election cycle works. So that's the door to door strategy.